How's it going, fellow Earth Stoners? My name is Christoph Soros, and today we're going to be checking out White Something Something Something's Jade Zod Druid. The White Delights Zod Jade Druid deck. Or Druid, what the? F Shaman! Alright, so as you guys can see, I am uh, voicing over this video because my mic was not on again or connected or whatever else. So, we are up against a hunter. Which unfortunately, um, I kind of read this hunter a little wrong because I thought he was face hunter, but then he ends up having like Call of the Wild or something stupid like that. Um, so yeah, he's gonna play a couple of these annoying 1 1s and all that good stuff. So yeah, we will be losing this first game. Forehead. So, um, yeah. Pretty much just, um,. Stupid stuff happening right now. Waiting for my... Yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to do this voiceover for an hour. <laughs> I thought about cutting up some of the um, losses that I had. Like some of the games I lost because they were pretty long. But I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know, I'm kind of already recording now. I might as well just keep going. Alright, so he's just trading. I mean, not really much to see here. So here I'm kind of thinking about whether or not I wanted to coin something out, but there's not really a point in like using a Jade Lightning on a 1-1, right? Kind of, just, I, I thought it was pretty stupid, so I was like, you know, I think I'm just going to kind of chill. And then here I say, oh, that was a mistake or whatever because I have Harrison, because I have BM and stuff, you know, I'm just like that. So then I'm like, hopefully he doesn't swing with his weapon, but he is Hunter, so he probably will. He ends up doing it. I'm like, feels bad, man, but they could still end up playing Harrison here. Because I kind of started talking about why Harrison is good here, because it gives me a card draw. But what's even better is the following turn, he ends up trading into it with most of his minions, which opens this up. The, or opens him up to lightning storm pretty bad. But he still ends up winning though, so it feels bad, man. Shiny and perfect. Yeah, pretty much, uh... So I think he's taking a while here because he's like, man, I really don't want to trade into that. Which I think he actually ends up, I don't know if he has kill command right now, because I know later on he has, he ends up playing kill command. I'm like, why didn't he, I kind of felt like it was a misplay because I, because he didn't have a quick shot here and he, ha I, he didn't have a kill command. He just like attacks with everything. Which, by the way, if I think about this even more, not only is like a mid-range-ish hunter kind of like good against Jade typically because you can put on like more pressure early, but on top of that, he ends up getting both both of his kindly grandmothers first off, which is pretty good against this deck, and he gets both Argent Squires and an abusive and a bow like super early on when he has like two high mains, and I know at least one Call of the Wild, so I'm pretty salty, but at this point, we're getting pretty good value. The thing is that I think the reason why I won I lost this game was because I started, and I ended up getting, like, too greedy, right? With, like, my plays later on. So... So he's still kind of, like, trading a little bit here and there, you know? But yeah, I still think that those are still the same two cards that he had before. 
I think that one on the left, he, it was actually a kill command at some point. We end up seeing it. And I think he was thinking about kill commanding our face. So now I'm kind of talking about how, like, okay, we got a 2 2 on board, we got the 5 5 taunts, pretty nice. Um, and we also have the healing wave, so we should be okay. We also got one overload from the um, Jade Claws. I think he, yeah, CS kill command. So, like, he should have kill commanded before on the uh, Harrison, I, I believe, was what, like, was weird. Yeah, now it's going to be pretty low. Um, I'm going to heal myself, though, obviously. And then I'm going to Jade Lightning one of these. So we do heal for 14, and I'm like, okay, cool. It's pretty swag. I think trading there was right, but I'm not entirely sure. Probably was, right? Yeah, but then see here he gets called the wild right on turn nine. I think he top decks that too. And this is pretty much where we lose, cause yeah, we can't really deal with Call of the Wild. And we have no AoE on our hand. We not only do we get like all of our late game minions, but then of course we top deck Bloodlust. Um I think this game we only Yeah, and then I start come kinda like complaining here. I'm like Okay, so this game I had I only drew one of like my four AOEs. So like if we had a um, elemental destruction here, would have been pretty good. Might have still been dead though, but I would have well I would have elemental destruction and then play the rat. I could have played all this stuff right. See, so yeah, I had nine mana, so I would have elemental destruction rat. And um, and played the uh, Mana Tide Totem, but well unfortunately I'm just like, okay, that's pretty stupid. Like, no one really plays Hunter on ladder, right? So it's like, whatever. Just like, okay, let's move on to the next game, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, for having, I mean, I don't know what else, like, if that guy also plays, I'm pretty sure he plays another high main. If he plays Bow Call Wild plus two high mains and then like a Ragnaros, then I would say we got a little unlucky, maybe, but... I'm having called the wild right on turn 9 is really bad. Oh. Now I think I'm kind of looking at the guide, and I'm going like, okay, against Shaman, it's probably aggro. I think it says something about, like, AoEs. You want to keep, like, an AoE against aggro. Um, a healing wave and, like, Jade Claws, I think, are, like, the ones that you're looking for against aggro. Oh. So we're just going to keep these. Or I mean just the one elemental destruction I believe. Alright guys, I'll be right back while this keeps playing. It's going to be just the first couple of turns, so nothing's going to happen that much anyway. So. Yeah, I'm just kind of like Baby Rage, PJ Salt, um, Blessings to You, all that good stuff, you know? I kind of can't wait until we get to the part where I face against a rogue. You guys will probably like the rogue uh, game, even though we end up losing, which kind of obvious because they had like a lot of card draw, but 
I don't want to spoil it too much for you guys right now, but that's the thing that I kind of hate about doing these, like, voiceovers on my videos is because, like, I already know everything, well, most of everything that's going to happen, right? I mean, of course, I don't know every single player every single time, but... So, I start kind of thinking here, I'm like, okay, is this guy, like, also Control Shaman? I'm kind of, like, just foreheading a little bit, because we're both Control Shaman, and this is probably going to be a little bit Resident Sleeper, you know? But... I think, yeah, and we win this game, so yeah. Okay, right, Feral Spirits here. I'm like, okay, he only has two mana next turn. Um, we don't really have much of a play here, though, so I'm just gonna kill one of these off. Just kinda like broke back, you know? Get the Flame Tongue. Of course, he goes face. Wants to get that extra damage in. And I think, uh, so yeah, I'm actually going to play the uh, heal here. Because it's a pretty good body on board. And I'm not going to attack because it already, like, the 3-6 already trades into the 4-3. And so I heal, and I'm like, okay, that's, like, perfect. We got the full, like, 6 heal, you know. But what, what ends up being a little unfortunate is I'm kind of like, oh, yeah, we're a little bit overloaded. So this turn, this turn is, like, really awkward, though. And I, like, I think I maybe played this wrong. I don't know, because, like, Lightning Storm seems like the best option here. Like, I also could have traded and hexed, but then the thing is, is, like, his frog still is, like, a 2-1 on board, if I did that, and then he could have just traded it. So... I end up trying to roll the spell power, and then I do the Lightning Storm. Which I guess is still technically the right play. And like I didn't want to trade into the Drake. I that's the thing is like I don't know if I should have, like maybe. I don't know. Like it's just really awkward, right? Because him having spell power up is just really bad for me in general. Which I don't think this whole game this guy played spirit claws like at all. Like he didn't play a single weapon, so I was kinda confused by that. But don't necessarily disagree though, either, so I'm kind of just like maybe, maybe. So now, kill that. I think I just go Jade here, yeah. Which is still kind of bad. Like he still has this freaking. So he has no more flame tongues, which is nice. So now that's what I'm talking about. Now I'm like, okay, pretty cool. No more flame tongues. Don't gotta worry about that BS anymore. But. What other BS will come by, though? It's like, I mean, it's mid-range shiny, right? Obviously, there's going to be more BS. So, he does end up having Lightning Storm. Feels pretty bad, man. Good news is... Well, not necessarily good news that he had to attack with that, but he did have to attack with it, so it's like, okay. Not bad, bad, but... This elemental destruction here because it clears up everything. It's a lot better that way. So, yeah. Pretty much there's that. There is a lot at stake here. Okay. So he plays a naked Thunder Bluff, so I'm pretty much just like, okay, that's easy hacks, right? And then I'm like kind of talking about, I'm like, okay, well, if he has another one, like, we got the second hex to just take care of that one anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, I'm actually going to try to do my Tavern Brawl while we're doing this. Um, someone told me to do Face Hunter. Kind of just like, okay. I'm not really sure what you pick for face on that right on this brawl. Um. Let's 
So yeah, I got another hex. Um, and I actually end up ending the turn, and I talk about how I should have lava bursted the three one. Like that was just stupid. But I think I end up top decking lightning storm. Yeah, so it still kind of worked out. But if we didn't top deck that lightning storm, it would have been pretty bad, right? <laughs> So I'm kind of just like, yeah, it's pretty dumb of me, but at least we can still kind of do something with it. But yeah, we definitely should not have done that. Where's my bogey? Um, actually, not sure about this. So I'm attempting to do this brawl too at the same time. <laughs> Greetings, friend. So at this point, I'm kind of like, actually, I think uh, this is the reason why I beat this guy is because he he had to take care of the pressure that I put on board. Um from the jades which ended up allowing me to just keep like building up the board so he ends up killing the second best minion on board which kind of felt bad man but i'm kind of like you know, I don't know, you know it's her stone right but because he like doesn't kill brand for like the next couple of turns like we get so much value off of our jades like there's just no way he's gonna win this one it's actually just like completely insane oh Wait, but you actually don't face a person. Oh, okay. Oh, what the hell? So... Yeah, it looks like he ends up being able to somewhat clear up our board, but, I mean, we still got the Bran on board. <laughs> There's just, like, no way he's going to be able to run it. I ain't They said the skull works when I asked for resident sleeper. Yeah, so pretty much not much else to say here other than I'm gonna be on this guy with the healing wave because he should have already conceded by now. Because we literally got six jades off of our brand with like our three jade card. Like it's just yeah. I don't even know man. <laughs> it's just so stupid, but <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. The light protects me. Hello. Summon a random imp. Wow, you get an imp boss up that? That's crazy. So, yeah, pretty straightforward. Won that game. Moving on to the next game. I had some really interesting games though against people. Pretty crazy stuff. Sweet. Beat the demon dude. Lol. All I did was face under this guy and I got the car. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Alright. <laughs> Lol. Oh, yeah, and then I get DC'd because I was looking at uh, stream. I was like kind of trying to watch, like, make us force it or something well. Well, I was queuing just real quick because I kind of get like 
kind of like to check other stuff like in between the queues, even though it's not that long, right? But you just it's just kind of like a habit thing. So we end up getting to seed, and then I'm like, yo, I can't wait until like I get my Ethernet cable back. You know what I'm saying? So I think this one's going to be a pretty long game overall. Um, yeah, this one's going to be pretty long. Because I think this is the one that we end up facing against a Reno Mage. Can't remember off the bat, but something like that. <laughs> Yeah, so we're just chilling, 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 chilling. You know what I kind of like doing? I kind of like going into normal play mode and just kind of trolling people with like the new combo druid. <laughs> Oh yeah, he ends up taking out my <clears throat> Holozeal, and I'm just like, blessings to you, you know what I mean? But then I kind of get a little sad because I'm like, he actually might have a, um, a fireball. I think he ends up having a fireball, he coins fireball, and I'm just like, feels bad, man, with the gun. Because it feels pretty bad, man. Yeah. Good job, man. And then this rat is actually kind of hard. It's like kind of awkward to deal with. So I'm like even more feels bad. Man. <laughs> And I end up just jading this because I'm like, whatever. I think we end up like starting to outvalue this guy, so we're pretty okay. Up to a certain point. I knew how to swing. Be a man. Even though he kind of gets a little bit of value just like trading it right, but eh, it's whatever. So yeah, I, and then I started talking about here, because like, before this too, uh, before this point, I was kind of like, a little bit sad, because I had stuff on us in my hand, I was like, well, if he has polymorph, like, it's kind of bad, and that's why I mulliganed it away, I think, in the beginning. But then I, but I still play here, because I'm like, okay, it's good if he just trades, because it's pretty good value trade for him, even if he has polymorph in his hand, he might just trade it still, um, which he ends up doing, so I felt pretty good about that. Um... And I kind of, you know, and then so he does, and then so I get to play the uh, Corruptor at least has, or the Zoth at least has that. But he is Reno, so like, I started kind of thinking later, I'm like, oh yeah, because then I end up playing the 5-5 um, the five five Taunt that we have, the Wide Eyes or whatever, and then I end up playing um, Aya at some point, I believe, or th I, at least I'm thinking about it. I'm like, okay, well we have both of those Death Rattles, so even if he Polymorphs to one, it's still fine, right? Oh. Playing against a hunter right now while I'm recording this as a druid. Just like, where are all these hunters coming from? Like, Hunter is so bad. Oh yeah, and I was actually even talking, uh, before he plays this, um, Medivh, I was even talking about how, uh, since he's playing the 2-1, he probably plays Medivh, because he's kind of playing, like, a little bit odd cards in, like, Reno, right? And so, he gets pretty wrecked here, and then we draw a second Hex, and I'm like, okay, pretty sure it's not Counterspell, so whatever, and then I just go for it. 
But yeah, it's pretty crazy. Well played. Mm -hmm. I'm late. I'm late. <laughs> Yeah, I got some pretty good value against this guy. Feels good, man. So, I think at this point, too, I'm just kind of like talking about how like Flame Strike and some AoEs and stuff like that get some good value. I think over the next couple of turns he ends up doing it, but oh my god, this guy's fucking hunter's mark. You kidding me? Dude, hunter OP. That's true. That's bad, man. Excuse me. Dude, I like how I like how this deck that I'm playing against this guy like literally is like the counter deck to this deck. What the fuck, dude? Who the hell plays hunter? No one plays Hunter Baby Rage. Actually, I've actually been seeing more Hunters lately, which is kind of odd. I don't really know why. Isn't Hunter still really bad? I don't even know. Oh, yeah. Looks like I got another 45 minutes of this, boys. You want it? <clears throat> so, and he's, as you see, he plays a Conjurer, too. So, like I said, he plays a little bit more of the odd Reno Mage cards. Not that they don't work, and not that I, I mean, I would even prefer playing like Conjurer and things like that, because it's just going to be like a super high value deck, right? That's pretty nice, but, um, yeah, it's all, it's all certainly, certainly different than what you'll typically see. Um, yeah, I got the Lightning Storm there. I think he ended up faking me for that, but... I didn't really see a problem with doing that. Apparently he thought he was getting some like crazy value. But I don't think he really did. <laughs> oh yeah, and he ends up playing the ooze. And I was like starting to talk about that too. I was like, he might even have like the ooze or whatever he ended up playing it. So I'm just like, whatever. Baby rage. <laughs> so yeah I'm still kind of just talking about how like there's probably no way this guy's gonna win because at some point my jades are just gonna get so much value I think at one point he ends up trying to burn me. I think it's gonna be in the next like couple of turns. He's gonna try just like burning me, but I have the healing wave too, so it's kinda like yeah, you're not gonna really be doing that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So but. Oh yeah, and then okay, so I ended up playing White Eyes, and then he mind controls it. He got mind control off of that stupid cabal that he played earlier. Yeah, he ends up mind controlling it, and I'm just like, crap. It's actually pretty good for him to like have that, and I'm just like, damn, feels really bad, man. Because <laughs> uh, it actually does feel pretty damn bad, man. So, but whatever, it's like YOLO. I wonder. <laughs> so yeah, I, oh yeah, did I have a spell? Oh yeah, so elemental destruction. Unfortunately, the corruptor didn't die. I'm kind of like, Ugh. 
And I think also like for my heals when I joust against this guy, he has like a 10-10 in his deck. But it's actually, it's only a 5 mana cost, so I guess you technically beat, beat him in the joust, right? Sort of easy. So yeah, this, like I said, this is going to be a really long game. Um, so he plays the Antonidas here, and I'm like, oh god, what does he have, like, Frostbolt and, like, Ice Lance or, like, Arcane Blast or something like that? He ends up just, like, torching, and I'm like, oh, okay. And then I'm sitting here, and I'm like, okay, well, obviously I have to Hex, right? But then I'm kind of worried about his Ragnaros and such like that. But, yeah. <laughs> So then I do the brand with the weapon because I remember reading on the guide that that was pretty good. I'm just like, yeah, it is pretty good, man. And I'm just like, derg and derg. Time to do that. Feels good, man. That's weird. Uh, I got too much card draw when I was playing this druid deck. So yeah, pretty much there's like, I think he ends up like, kind of giving up here. Because I end up popping him, I think, next turn. I'm just kind of lolling. Super hard. Alright. So yeah, still, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the part. I think he has, like, two turns to live. <laughs> Sorry, guys, this is, like, super slow. But yeah, this is what happens when you play against Reno. Mage, you just really gotta grind him out. With all these big boys. Big boy. <laughs> Jabated, dude. Yeah, so this is where he starts trying to burn me. And I'm just like, Ellie Jiggle? Ellie Jiggle? Just like, please do not make me Ellie Jiggle. <laughs> Woo! So I do the heal, and pretty much after that, there's like no way he's gonna be able to kill me. I think he ends up trying to like flame strike here, and then I'm just like, oh well, now I can't play Reno, so now there's no way we lose. But we still have the bloodlust in our hands, so like, even if he Renoed there, we still just would have like bloodlusted, and then he would have died. So <laughs> it's pretty funny. Um... What 
to do. What to do. Whoa, 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 whoa. What to do? Time runs out on me. Sorry, guys, I gotta blow my ass. Yeah, and I think he pretty much is like raging. Oh, yeah, and this is the part where I'm saying that he's like baby raging, probably, and stuff like that. Which he probably is. I think I end up BM lethaling him. <laughs> this is where the guy's like telling me about how I was supposed to get the, Di uh, the Diablo card back from the Brawl today. So if you guys haven't played the Brawl yet, you should probably check that out. Get the Diablo card back. It's a cold Watch your step. For Doomhammer. This game will. Oh yeah, this is the guy who has the crazy deck. So make sure you guys pay attention on this one, cause <laughs> this guy's deck is crazy. Ooh, now he goes to one. My greetings. The pleasure is mine. All right, it feels bad. Now. Oh yeah, and then he gets that, and I was kind of like, oh god, with the two four, but then I was like, oh wait, he needs overload, so <laughs> he's not a shaman. You aren't a shaman, forehead. Tonight. A tale of terrible tragedy. Thank you. So, I'm still kind of like confused against this guy. I don't actually find out that he's Jade Rogue until later, uh, which is pretty bad. For me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so a little awkward clear here, but you know. Yeah, like I was saying too while I was making this video, is some of these um, some of these plays I probably do misplay. Like I'm definitely not gonna count that out for sure, right? Um, Oh wow, I actually need to, next like 15 minutes I need to start getting ready for work, lol. So, yeah, so Jade Rogue actually seems pretty insane because of the little like ninja bug. I don't know if he's played that yet. So yeah, he has the Aya now and I'm just like, oh crap. <laughs> he's also Jade. This is, this is like the part where I'm just like, oh, okay. This is gonna be fun, you know what I mean? I'm just like, uh, <laughs> oh god. So I hex that. It, it, just at this point, it just feels like so awkward, like playing against um, 
a Jade Rogue, but once I started realizing, like, him playing the 1-1s one -ones with the uh, Death Rattle, like this guy, the Jade Swarmy or whatever, or Swarm it, yeah, that's pretty much when I start realizing, yeah, probably not gonna win this game, and then he ends up getting, like, an insane Auctioneer turn. And it's pretty much like, yeah, definitely, probably not gonna win this game. Definitely, probably, you know what I mean? And then I see that he also has a Zoth, and I'm just like, greetings, friend, like, <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, so, and then I start kind of thinking too, I'm like, okay, well I have some AoEs, you know, he's down to like four cards, like maybe... He'll end up kind of dumping his hand, and you know, maybe it won't be that bad, but no, it's it's gonna be pretty bad. For sure. It's definitely gonna be pretty bad. It's definitely gonna be pretty bad. So yeah, I pretty much get wrecked this game because he ends up drawing like 10 more cards than me. And he also gets the priest, like the heal, which is actually pretty dang good. That might be really sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, extra sad. Swallow sadness like a boss. Oh, yeah, and then I get massive damages. And he only has a 3 3 Jade right now, but. Uh, like I said, the things that went wrong with this game was, okay, he's at a 3-3 Jade now, which is, I believe, already higher than us, first off. Second off, he has the Death Rattles, the Zoth, the Death Rattle Jade, the, um, like I said, he's head of us on Jades. He ends up, now he ends up getting the Auctioneer with, like, some insane, like, crazy draw mechanic going on here. Ends up being, like, 10 cards ahead of us. It's just, we end up getting, like, so destroyed here. <laughs> It's actually insane how destroyed we get here. Oh yeah. Ends up sapping. Yeah, pretty much at this point I probably should have conceded. Cause yeah, he's just drawing hella cards. <laughs> then of course he has the Jade Shurikens, like I'm actually kinda of surprised that I don't see more um decks like this guy's. It's pretty crazy actually. Actually pretty crazy. Incredible. I thank you. Uh, yeah, and then I pretty much just Zoth here, but I pretty much already knew that I was dead, so I just Zoth for the hell of it, and then I'm gonna concede now, because once, like, like these 1-1s, one yeah, 1-1 stealths are just, they're so damn insane, dude. Like, they're just so crazy. Like, I just don't even understand, man. Um, 
Yeah, actually, I don't know why I haven't conceded yet. <laughs> I'm like that other guy. Yeah, I'm pretty... Yeah, there's just, like, there's no way I'm winning this game. I really just don't even know why I haven't conceded yet. Uh, of course I lose the second joust on the heel, and I'm just like, yeah, this is totally GG, dude. Concede? No? Still not conceding. Holy shit. Concede, man. Concede. What are you doing, you fool? I think you concede now, right? Soon. It's coming up here soon. I, I, I concede here pretty soon. Finally conceded. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can't remember. I'm trying to think. Uh, this might have been one of the better games. I don't know. I ended up having like a DC. I ended up playing against someone who just like straight up DC. I'm just like broke back, dude. All the broke backs. The brokest of backs, dude. Oh yeah, I think this is the war. Or wait a second, is this the warrior that DC, or is this the face warrior that ended up beating me? Oh no, this is the mid range like dragon warrior that ended up beating me, and I just like lulled so hard. Just like mega like giga lulled. Oh yeah, and I ended up uh, taking out his Finley, which is really good. I probably was more favored to win this game than I thought, but I actually ended up playing super greedy against this guy. So I think that's what I ended up making me lose the game. So yeah, like right here, I I think I ended up top top decking um, Lightning Storm. I probably should have just played it. I think I ended up playing Jade. Yeah, I should have just Lightning Stormed here. It was super greedy of me to not play it there. It's like really bad. <laughs> like really, really bad. Yep, super greedy. And now I end up, now I'm like forced to healing wave and elemental destruction, which means next turn I'm not going to be able to do anything at all. Which is pretty not good. So, yeah. Even though we do get a fat heal, but we also use our coin here as well, so it's like, yeah. It's pretty much not what I'm looking for. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but it's whatever, I guess. Mm-hmm. 
Oh yeah, and to top it off, he ends up getting the 6-6 six, six back to, like, the 6-6 the six, six, um, Draconoid Crushers, which, fortunately, a, uh, his rag did not hit my Harrison, but he did get pretty lucky in this fact that he got the back-to-back -back, um, Draconoids, and then, that's actually a good thing I didn't Lava Burst there, because I probably would have got screwed, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so he plays another, so he had like all three of his like, actually he had his four biggest minions in like the middle of his deck against us, which is really good, because I think he ends up playing the creator this next turn, which is really bad for us, so we end up getting pretty screwed on that, so I end up having to like jade, trade like double lava shock, so it's just super awkward and just like really dumb dude, like it's just so dumb. <laughs> So yeah, we get pretty wrecked here. Yeah, it feels really bad, man. And then we almost end up stabilizing though. Like even though he gets a creator curator like right after, but then he like draws the cards right, so it's even worse and Yeah, it's just really bad, dude. Like, yeah, I don't know. If he just didn't get like such Good draws like back to back to back we might have been able to win like win but we also end up um like like i said we almost end up stabilizing and winning but he just ends up getting um like charges and weapons later on like a couple of turns later and we have to like keep trading everything that we have so it just it just really did not work at all that's really felt bad, man. I wield the power. Feels really bad, man. Ugh. Feels really, feels really good, man. But in this case, feels really, feels really bad, man. So we hex the corruptor, which I'm pretty sure was right. Not a big deal there. And I think I'm maybe should have well i didn't want to take the extra face damage on that mine but so, so he is down to two cards here unfortunately he has a spell power and it's just like ridiculous that he gets to kill that there because if he didn't like he, he just had really good draws against us i think was the main problem like i don't know man and we don't even trade here, which we probably should have. Yeah, we. Had, I think that was another misplay that we did too, is we didn't trade there. So yeah, at this point, I'm kind of just like heck of baby rage. I actually got really triggered here at this game that we didn't beat this guy, as we should have. Yeah, I'm like I'm like hella pissed here because it's like hella stupid, dude. Like we should have won this game for sure, but unfortunately we didn't. Pretty ridiculous though.
So now I'm just kind of talking about how, like, that guy got, like, really lucky, which he, he did. I think on his draws, he did get pretty lucky. The, the main reason why I say that is because he got all those cards back to back to back. Um, and if he wouldn't have them, we would have been in such a better spot. So, but it's whatever. It is what it is, right? So then we ended up playing against this paladin, and he's kind of like trashed here. <laughs> so, like, it's kind of bad, but like, I'm not trying to be like an asshole, but he ends up having like a pretty trashed tier deck, which I net deck pretty much all the time. I like to try out things that are good. I don't really like to play things that are bad, right? <laughs> Typically, don't want to play things that are bad. So. Yeah, and I yeah, cause so so once I see him playing this spell chick or whatever, I'm just like, okay, this guy's pretty much like tier trash, uh, yeah, trash tier. So <laughs> just like, yeah, kind of not really gonna do that. So kind of not really gonna do that. Yep, I play Dirty Rat too, and then I know that he has spells, and I end up finding out that he has both get downs like early on too, which I think screwed him up even worse. If he ended up drawing a Divine Favor, I actually am I'm like talking about that, I'm like man he probably has a Divine Favor, blah blah blah, like all this stuff, but luckily he doesn't end up having it, <laughs> would have been really bad if he did, but yeah. And ooh. <laughs> so yeah now he has an empty hand then next turn are like jade claws and like he can't even kill my brand still so it's like even worse like he pretty much just gets like completely demolished here like <laughs> There's really nothing that he could do. So I'm just like, okay, it's probably another get down, because he played it right after we popped the first one, right? So. Another get down. Doesn't really matter. Lightning storm. And this is pretty much where I know that the game's over, unless he gets Divine Favor here. So either he has it or he doesn't.
<laughs> uh, just BM someone so bad. Oh yeah, this is the DC Warrior, so if you guys want to kind of skip over this, it's just going to be a DC. I'm actually going to go and uh, brush my teeth right now while this plays over. The video is almost over. I think I just play one more after this one. Maybe two more, because maybe I will lose one real quick. I don't know. But yeah, this one's going to be pretty boring, so you probably want to just skip over it. So yeah, the sad thing about being a uh, control deck is if you do play against people who DC or just straight up AFK, which is what I'm kind of baby raging about at this point, I'm kind of just like, wow, Durgan, Durgan, like, AFKers, but I think this guy actually ended up DCing, he didn't, he wasn't AFK, uh, a little unfortunate for him, but good for me, I guess. I didn't really want to get into rank 17 this way, but it ended up putting me on a winning streak, so... Or, well, I ended up getting a winning streak after this game. So I was kind of just like, eh, whatever. I guess it's fine. So I got it. And then I kind of, once I see the um, heroic strike, I'm a little sad too, because I'm like, oh man... He was gonna be like a smork deck, and I kind of wanted to like challenge a smork deck. You know what I mean? It's always fun beating smorks, right? So, kind of a little upset about that, but you know, it is what it is, right? So now at this point, now I finally got finally since we're a control deck, got enough like power on the board to start like killing him or whatever. So here we are. All right, now. For the last match. Almost there, boys. We got 10 more minutes. Oh, finally in rank 17 again. Feels good, me. So we were climbing with this deck, so that's pretty nice. Um, though we did get the uh, winning streak, too. Just really felt bad losing that Jade Rogue. Like, she just had so much card draw. I was just like, ugh. So much card draw. 
So we end up playing as this guy, and I'm like, okay, probably Reno Mage. You know, whatever. Blah blah blah. You know, feels good, man. Feels bad, man. Who cares? We. I was like, okay, well, we beat the last. We beat the last Reno Mage, like you know, fairly easily. I mean, they didn't really. I mean, she kind of like the last one, kind of like fireballed us and stuff. It was a little scary, like oh. Is he going to have enough to just like straight up burn us or something at some point? But I'm kind of just like, you know, most likely we have this. Pretty chill. I'm just throw back everything. And I go like, yeah, it's an okay hand. Hello. Not that good. He goes hello, and then I'm like, oh. And I'm like, oh god, he has the freaking prince. And I'm like, what? Prince in 2017? Like, who the hell still plays this? You know what I mean? Like, no one even plays this. <laughs> He has the battling book. I'm like, okay, you know, so he has the prince, so he's like definitely control, right? I mean, it makes sense. I was like, okay, I, I could see Reno Mage kind of like playing it in it or whatever. Then he images here. I'm just like, okay, he's probably going to trade, right? And then he doesn't trade, and I'm just like, okay, I guess I'm going to just like kill this images, I guess. <laughs> so like, what is even going on? I don't really have anything to play, but kind of nice getting the card draw. So, yeah, at least has to have, like, a Frostbolt off curve or something to kill it. Um, I'm kind of hoping he doesn't have an Arcane Blast. So, at this point... Okay, so he did have the Arcane Blast, and he had the 3-2. And then at this point, I'm like, okay... Still Reno Mage, right? Like, who would play the stuff in Tumble Mage? I didn't really want a Lightning Storm here. I just played a Jade on curve. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of just confused a bit. <laughs> like, wait, you have Prince in your tempo. I'm like, there's no way it's a tempo mage. And then he gets the freaking freeze yeah. off of, off of the freaking babbling book. And I'm just like, wow, that's, that feels pretty bad, man. Definitely feels pretty bad, man. But just Jade Lightning that dude. And I'm like, okay, now I got a 2-2 on board. No big deal. Just the Jades doing their... Doing their thing, you know, thang, thang. And he does the missiles, he kills it, it's like, whatever, he was... Oh, it might have been better if he had to ping there, actually. I was like, okay, well, he's going to be able to kill it either way, but he was able to arcane intellect because he hit it twice, which kind of feels bad, man. And so I kind of say, I'm like, you know, maybe I should have killed this thing, like with Lava Burst. I probably should have because he has all the spells, right? To uh, just be able to go ham with but I don't so I know not that big of a deal because he ends up trading anyways so at this point I'm kind of just hoping that his tomes don't give him more tomes too because that's like kind of where we would start getting wrecked right It's like, well, I don't really have a play, so I guess I'm just gonna smork. I'm gonna hello? smork him down, dude. And he's like, hello. And I'm just like, nice, dude. Freaking smork it up as a control deck. <laughs> it's like, I didn't really want to have, like, nothing on my board and just use, like, no mana there. So. So he ends up potioning there, which is, which is kind of odd. I'm just like, what? <laughs> What is going on? <laughs> but, yeah, like, a lot of these games that I like, they just felt really weird. Like, I, I didn't know what my opponent was doing, or, I don't know, it was just, today was kind of a weird day as far as, like, that. I was thinking about playing some more jades on this deck or on this board. God, I can't talk. <sighs> so bad at talking, but I was just like, nah, he probably has like a flame strike or something. Even though if I would have developed the board more, then it would have been better as far as like things on my board surviving. But I'm just like, you know, it's whatever. He's using like board clear and stuff here. I can still just fill up the board again with another one. And I'm just like, I thank you. So now I have. 
a 5-5 five, five, and a 6-6 six, six taunt. And then he plays the freaking Yogg, and I'm like, he got that off Prince too. And I'm just like, fire a blast to the face, and he doesn't. And then, so luckily he didn't get another Yogg though. He steals my freaking taunt. He gets Battle Rage, and I'm just like, baby, Rage. Hopefully this guy overdraws himself. Primal Fusion buffs my dude, feels good, man. Uh, can't backstab, Flame Strikes me. Gets his stuff, like, to not be past one. Rampage, I'm just like, God, please don't land on the freaking Yogg. So it didn't land on the Yogg. Ball of Spiders, I was like, a little, I was at, upset at first, but I was like, okay, that's not the infest. Because I thought it was the infest, and if that would have happened, then, well, even though his hand's full, I guess the infest technically wouldn't have mattered, but I would have had to kill everything so he didn't get any value. And then actually, well, actually, if it was infest, then we would have had a beast off of our taunt, so that would have been kind of cool, but... So pretty much I'm gonna heal here. So I'm gonna I'm like testing to see if there's snipe too at the same time. And I'm like, okay, it's snipe. And I'm like, oh wait, it's that weird thing that like no one plays. So, so I give it the face like what? What the hell is this thing, yo? And I'm just like, dirt, no one even plays that card. This is kind of awkward. I have to like lava burst it too, but I get a lot of heal here, so kinda kinda happy about that. And then I end up shooting at this and it's freaking spellbender like the whole time and I'm just like what the hell is this right now and his hand is full feels good man so it definitely feels kind of good right now maybe flame waker pretty sure at this point he's gonna clear my board too I mean he has tempo beige so, he's bound to have a fireball. <laughs> he plays this Darkfisher dude, I'm like, yes, dude, overdraw me. And then I get a card, I'm just like, yes, overdraw me, bro. <laughs> I think I Elemental Destruction here, because I have the uh, Lava Shock, so I'll be able to get rid of all that overload anyways. If I do that, play the Taunt and get all my overload out of the way. With the mana that I have this turn, so I'm not using any of my That's mana next incredible. turn. So, pretty much at this point, I'm just like hella laughing at him. Feels pretty good, man. And I'm just kind of worried about the cards that he gets from Prince, like this one, for example. Um, I'm like, okay, so he hit that, so I'm just like, oh, he's gonna kill it. But then I'm like, wait, he always has three mana with that, and he doesn't even, like, kill it. <laughs> It's like, okay. Now at this point, I'm gonna play Brand with Aya so I can get more um, Jades going. And now these Jades are what? 7-7 seven, seven, and 8-8? Eight, eight. Pretty much at this point, I win the game. So, yeah. I was just like, a little Shadow Word Horror. And the game's over. So. No, I just BM him. A little bit. Act like I'm gonna BM? No, I can't BM because I just got killed. No. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate the support. Um, if you guys want to, go ahead and check out the deck on Hearthbone. It's gonna be in the description below so you guys can have fun and troll on ladder. Anyways, Thank you guys, and um, yeah, like always, I will see you in the next video. Stay chill. Peace out.